Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to turn to the Oracle and the Tarot cards here today and whoever is on your mind, whoever you're thinking of or connecting to at this time, we are going to ask the Oracle and the Tarot, what is it that this person wants to tell you? What is it that they want to text you? When they see you next, what is it that, that they're going to reveal and open up to you? So we're going to go a bit freestyle with this, you guys. If you're connecting in with the messages, be sure to hit the like button uh, show your support by liking sharing subscribing dropping your comments in the comment section below there is also a new special feature button which is the super thanks button it is in the shape of a love heart again if you take advantage of that you will be supporting my channel for those of you who would like to work with me all those details will be in the show more section below but for now guys let's dive on in let's find out what is it that this person wants to tell our air signs? So this reading, oh, did I mention this is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Okay, so if you're tuning into this reading and you're any of those air signs, then this reading is for you. Okay, first card coming through is the Badger Spirit. Second card is the Skunk Spirit. Bee Spirit. And the stag spirit. Okay, let's look at some star signs. We've got earth energy here. You could be connecting to an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Strong earth energy here. We've got also got air energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But strong earth energy. Now, remember, it might not be their sun sign. It might be their moon sign or their rising sign coming in strongly here. I do have to say here, guys, that this person wants to tell you that they are sorry that they have hurt you. Okay, with the B spirit here, I feel like this person has retaliated. Okay, they've retaliated um, and they want to come in and say that they're really sorry because they've hurt you and now they kind of want to uh, like cooperate with you or work on this connection or work on this situation. Okay, I feel that this person will initiate this conversation or will initiate contact here. There's something about teamwork, okay? So I, I like the energy that's coming in. I feel like this person is coming in with a very good head on their shoulders. I feel like they're taking a very logical approach, a very sensible approach uh, towards matters. And I also get the sense that this person is, when they communicate this to you, it's very genuine. They're coming from a, a very sincere and genuine place. With the skunk spirit here, I'm getting that they did something to put you off. They know that what they did was very off-putting. They will admit this. Okay, and then they want to come in and say, look, I, I admit what I did was really shitty. Uh, I could have dealt with that situation better. I want to improve this. I, I want to make it better. Um, and I feel like with the Badger Spirit, they're going to do something that's going to be bold. Okay. So they're kind of coming in with some kind of a risk or a chance here. They're taking some kind of a risk or a chance here. Because with the Badger Spirit, it says be fearless and bold. So I'm getting like that, uh, the full energy. This person's going to take some kind of a leap of faith here and just be the initiator. They're going to be the first person to take a leap of faith towards you and just sort of put something out there. They're going to put something out there, okay, because they realize what they did here. It was shitty. Um, they could have managed things better. They could have said things better. They could have acted uh, in a mature manner.
It could be too here, guys. There was maybe like an insecurity here. I'm just getting with know your worth that this person may have acted because the way they acted was because they felt insecure. And I don't feel like this is something that they would admit. Okay, because I'm getting with the stag spirit that this person is too prideful or proud to admit something like that. But I want to let you know that what triggered this behavior or triggered this circumstance was insecurity. They felt insecure in that moment. But I'm getting with the B spirit here. This is someone who's willing to cooperate. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. This is improvement. This is willing to go above and beyond to prove themselves. So let's see what else is coming through. Yeah, justice. Yeah. You know what? I feel like all signs got this justice card. <laughs> Um, I feel like this person, again, wants to come in and correct their wrongs, uh, iron out differences. They want to bring balance and harmony back to this connection. They want to bring balance and harmony back to the situation. They want to restore the balance here. This is strong Libran energy. We've got judgment. You know, it could be something like maybe this person told you they didn't want to get married. Okay, maybe that the reason why they said that was because it came from a place of insecurity. But with the justice here, it's telling me here now they're changing their mind on things. And actually, you know what? They are open to getting married or they are open to something more serious here with you. They're willing to sign on the dotted line here. And maybe they're willing to express that with you. Don't forget, guys, if the messages are resonating, to claim this reading by hitting the like button. We have the Nine of Cups. <laughs> there it is. There's the Fool. What did I say? There's the Fool. And there's the chariot. So for some of you, you could be connecting to an Aries. Uh, we've got Cancer energy here. Again, I just feel the full is reiterating what I said earlier with the Badger spirit. Okay, this person wants to take a leap of faith, a leap of chance. What it is that they want to come forward and share with you here is that they want a new beginning. They want to start fresh. Okay, they're willing to... Maybe seek adventure here with you because the full is adventure. The full is let's see where this goes. Let's see where this connection takes us. The chariot is um, this person's feelings that it may be like something's gaining momentum here. Okay, maybe the connection is growing stronger and stronger. Okay, this person is willing. So say if this person lives at a distance from you, I feel like they're willing to maybe move closer to be near you. Okay, and that would be them taking a risk or a chance because what is it that they've got to lose, right? So I feel, yeah, if this person lives an hour away from you or interstate, I feel like they want to move closer to be closer to you. They want to, they want to t make a move to be closer to you. With the judgment card here, I feel like this person's decided something and they want to reveal that they want to announce something here and I feel like what they want to announce is what I said earlier maybe they want to announce that they're ready to or they're they're open to something more permanent something more committed maybe they're open to moving in with you 
Maybe they can see themselves living with you. Maybe they're open to starting a family now. Maybe they're ready to have children. Maybe they're ready to take a holiday. Maybe they're ready to get married. They're ready to tie the knot. They're ready to sign documents here that's going to sort of ground this connection or cement this connection. I hope that makes sense. With the Nine of Cups, this person wants to communicate. What they want to tell you is something about something that they hope for or that they wish for here when it comes to you and this connection. Uh, maybe they want to see if that is possible here with you. So, for example, this is just an example. Maybe their wish is to... Uh, take you to to a romantic location, okay, like Bora Bora. I know that's far-fetched, right? <laughs> However, some of you might be going to Bora Bora or this person wants to take you to Bora Bora. But say that this is something that this person has always wanted to do. They've always wanted to go to Bora Bora and they want to communicate that to you. They want to say, hey, look, I've always wanted to go here. Will you Will you come with me? Would you like to come with me? Because I do see travel here. I see travel here. So maybe this person wants to take a romantic weekend away. Maybe they they want to communicate to you that they want to plan a holiday here with you. Fast forward six months. Fast forward nine months. I also get with the chariot an energy of home. So maybe this person wants to, maybe that wish is they want to buy a home. Uh, they want to buy a home that you can both call home. Like they want to move in with you here. But I feel with the full that this person's ready. They're ready to go the next level. They're ready to make that leap. Because justice is Libra. Libra is relationships, and I feel like this person wants to do a relationship here with you. Maybe with the fool here, they've got this like bad boy or bad girl energy. Maybe they've got this, um, this reputation that they've never been able to settle down. Maybe they've told you, you know, I've never settled down with anyone before, but now I'm ready. So there we have it, guys. They're your messages. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully, hopefully you got something out of this. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And until next time, take care.